four women. Average case where you should have the death penalty. I've said that all along. I've told the jury that. We asked, Henry Wade, the district attorney. And we uh, asked for it. I think the facts fully warranted. I think it was a assassination in itself of a man handcuffed in police custody. And I think it went actually deeper than that, than uh, who the person was killed. I think it was more of a, a you might say a murder or a killing of our government by law rather than men. I think it actually is a step. Uh, it even advances civilization uh, quite a bit, I believe, by this verdict. That's oh, my theory. How does it advance civilization? Well, a not guilty, I think, would have put it back, back toward barbarianism or lynch law of each individual citizen deciding who uh, should be killed or who shouldn't be killed. Mr. Wade, were you surprised at the rather quick decision by the jury? Well, last night uh, I was, wasn't satisfied with my argument to the jury at all and felt awful low about it last night. When the verdict was, came in within a little over two hours, I thought we had uh, either life or death. I didn't know which. Mr. Wade, uh, Mr. Bellag referred to this as railroading and the biggest disgrace of American law. I think that's his feud state he's talking about, the way I saw him yelling and screaming up there. I believe it's the first time he ever lost the case from the way he talked. Do you feel some sense of satisfaction of having won this case? Well, I guess anybody that wins any case, uh, you go ask a jury to turn a certain verdict and they return it. Uh, I'm very well satisfied with it and think it was the proper verdict. What does this jury uh, verdict I don't think it actually signifies anything. See, we've had death penalties in seven minutes here uh, in Dallas. This was over two hours. I think it signified that the jury, by the evidence, is, uh, had pretty well made up their mind whether that he wasn't insane, that he was sane, and had pretty well uh, thought about this during the night and didn't take them long to deliberate to arrive at the verdict. Mr. Wade, prior to the verdict, you had said numerous times that you expected anything from acquittal to death in the electric chair. Did you really feel this way, sir, or was that just a statement for the press? Well, I didn't think uh, the acquittal or term of years was the proper verdict in the thing, but I've tried a lot of cases, and I know juries uh, can do nearly anything. I think we got to the jury in a lot better shape on the facts than we were really entitled to. They pitched their whole case on insanity and made a weak case on it and rather than asking for mercy or leniency. And so you, the jury uh, probably subconsciously got the idea it's either insanity or death. Were there any major surprises any for you? Wade, how would you have defended Jack Ruby? Well, I don't, don't defend any here, but I think I would have uh, tried to go for leniency rather than all out on insanity. But Were there any major surprises? all along, sir, that the judge ruled for the, uh, for the prosecution all the way down the line. Uh, is this your reaction to that? Of course, if he ruled for us when he shouldn't, the higher courts will reverse the case and send it back. So all that will be on appeal. This is the 25th murder case you have won, isn't it, Mr. Wade? Yes, about that many. I